Okay, I thought I'd start with the neighborhood. I'm just outside. That is the dead end street, so only a couple houses past you. One, two, three, four houses on the left, and it's a dead end. This guy over here is doing a new, making a little shop. You can hear his air gun going. And back down the street to Lewis Drive there. So we'll head on in. Stucco siding, new roof. This was a paved driveway at one time. It's this asphalt. It's got a little bit loose here and there, but you could give it a good sweep. It would probably be okay. This is where a, a shot of the foundation fix from the outside, professionally done by crack masters. Nothing wrong with the peak. Got wood soffits under there. And that wire on the side of the house looks like it's for TELUS. Okay, and then we've got the little backyard. And through the gates. So we've got a little brick pad up to the deck. The deck is on sono tubes, but a few boards could maybe use a little re-and-re, -re, but that's no big deal. And it still supports me. I'm almost 200 pounds. Now I'm up on the deck. See? Great big flat yard. If they're eight foot between fence posts, there you go. That's quite a few. Motorhome parked back there. Just through that little gate. And there's a newer door on the outside deck going in. Again, the windows have been upgraded. They're vinyl cased. Yeah, this side of the house looks good. Shot him under the deck. The apple tree. A couple apples left up there. We got another fruit tree there. And a little shed in the back. A little fire pit. Looks like they've cut down some trees there. But this yard is laser flat. A little bit of a hill going up to the back there. But that's beyond your property anyways. There's this little shed. It's nothing special, but whatever. It's some dry storage. Yeah, big backyard. Go back around the front. All the shingles and soffits and gutters look good. That's like a great big cherry tree or something. It's huge. And yes, this is the furnace vent. Yep, that's the exhaust, this is the intake. High efficiency furnace. Back out front we go. house there. It's got a little fence and it's nicely kept. Big shrubs out front. Tidy. Tidy neighborhood. Nice little houses. And I like that it's on a dead end road. Baker Creek is down below that way beyond the dead end over the shelf. In we go. Newer door on the front. Got one of these doorbell zipper. I don't hear anything. They might have taken the, the actual bell out of it. Looks like it used to be an alarm system. Okay, we're in the split level area. I'll back my camera up a bit. Wrought iron railing, which is kind of cool if you paint it up. Could you could stand to be tightened down a bit. There's a newer carpet in this living room. Looks like it's been cleaned. 
yeah, nice squishy carpet. Even this window here is new. See it's vinyl cased with opening sides, screens. Yeah, that furnace is on good in here. It's a cold day in Quenelle. And it is roasty in here. Walls have a little bit of a texture on them. Nice big window to the backyard. This would be the diner. Let me back that up again a bit. There's a fan fixture there. That's where the dining table would go. Into the kitchen. Yeah, it's cold. Could use a drawer right there. And these cabinets have seen better days, but again, it's functional. Got a new window into the backyard. There's the door into the back. This way and down the hall. Broom closet. Linen closet. Bathroom. Vanity could use a re and re. Tub surround is totally decent. Tub's got a bit of a chip in it there. Still workable though, I would say. Across the hall, we have bedroom number one. New window. No closet doors. Two closets in this room. No doors on either. Right to the ceiling. Decent flooring, it's laminate flooring in here. Decent color. Opening window to the front, there's my pickup. Cherry tree there and another cherry tree there. This would be pretty in the spring. I don't know if they're the pink blossoms or the white. Lots of shrubbage in front of the neighbor house too. It looks good. All these homes have pride of ownership down here. I'll tell you that. And this would be the smaller bedroom. So we just came from the master. This would be the smaller. It looks out to the backyard. Nice new window, and it opens. Closet, to the ceiling, no door. This carpet is decent. You might want to replace it eventually, but it, it could be lived in. Downstairs. And the floors are all straight in this home. It's not wobbly. To the right, we've got the rec room. The Berber down here. I mean, again, you might want to swap it out eventually after you have a couple parties. Nice new vinyl window down here. Opens on both sides. Here's the electrical panel. Uh, 100 amp. Looks good. Here's a little bigger. The renters that were here, the little guy was a hockey player, so it looks like he got a little carried away with pucks and whatever. Yeah, I could use some putty, not the end of the world. I've got a post here. Got a decent bathroom. Now it's up a step, so the plumbing must not be jackhammered into the floor, but it's actually a really decent bathroom. Totally decent shower. Even bar soap in there. Yeah, totally cool. Well, maybe the fan is bothered or just the cover? That oh, still works. Cover must be pooched. This door has been kicked. 
Renters were a little rough on it, but structurally, I don't think that's gonna matter. Under the stairs, there's no light under here, but it does go under and around. Quite a bit of good storage there. We've got this room here. That would be the laundry room. Yeah, there's the plug-in, water taps, and the sink. Here's the high efficiency keep right furnace. So you've got your air in and out. Plumbing, we got a bit of PEX here. Little piece of poly B. And then above we've got copper. There's the hot water tank, and it is natural gas. Over here is the side of the house where that crack was repaired professionally. This looks pretty cool. It's got studs all the way up. So done very well. I don't know what you'd want to do with this room. Could be a little mud room for the downstairs area or whatever. It's got a window, so that's nice. And we've got a third bedroom. New window. Eh, carpet's seen better days, but doesn't smell like cat pee or dog pee in here too bad. Although it looks like a bit of stain in that corner. street and that's that I'm gonna get turning the lights off now